Hello everyone, and welcome back. Are you tired of fights feeling like they take an eternity? Are you sick of passing out from three lucky hits? Well, do not fear, for I have good news for you. First, let me quickly explain the breakdown of this video. To start, I'm going to explain to you how to read weapon grades, armor grades, and then we'll break down the respective stats for each of those. Feel free to scrub the timeline to find what you need. Alright, weapon grades. Going from worst to best are as follows. Rusted Junk, Rusting Blade, Mid-Grade Salvage, Old Refitted Blade, Refitted Blade, Katan number 1, Katan number 2, number 3, Mark 1, 2, 3, Edge Type 1, 2, 3. Alright? Something to keep in mind when considering the equipment grades, though it may be common sense, the higher the grade, the rarer the weapon, and thus the more expensive it will be to buy from a shop. And the same goes for the armor grades. However, for armor grades, there's less of them to worry about. You have prototype, shoddy, standard, high, specialist, and masterwork grade. Alright, on to the weapon stats breakdown. I will gladly admit I am no expert on these stats, but I will offer you the understanding I currently have. Starting from the top, cutting damage deals damage based on your strength and dexterity while causing the enemy to bleed dependent on the blood loss stat multiplier. They kind of go hand in hand. Uh, this damage can be healed with first aid kits. Then there's blunt damage, aka stun damage. This deals damage to an enemy while not causing them to bleed, and that damage cannot be healed with first aid kits. If you'd like some nerdy formulas to figure out what damage you're dealing, here you go, on screen. Uh, have fun with that. <laughs> I've already sort of mentioned it, but the blood loss multiplier, it goes hand in hand with your cutting damage to decide at which rate they're going to bleed from your cutting damage. Some weapons will have a defense and attack bonus or debuff. The bonus affects your ability to perceive, block, or evade attacks, that's the defense one, and the attack bonus increases your chance of successfully landing a strike. Other weapons may have indoor penalties or bonuses. Probably needless to say, but this lowers or increases your chance of successfully landing a strike on a target while indoors. Some heavier weapons require a higher strength level to wield and swing them efficiently. You can use them whenever you want, regardless of your strength, but your strikes will be considerably slower. It is recommended that your character has a strength greater than the blunt damage of the weapon times 40. For example, a Jete with the grade of refitted blade. Its blunt damage is 0.45x, meaning your strength should be around 18. Armor stats breakdown. First, there are three tiers to armor. There's light, medium, and heavy. Light armor buffs certain stats depending on the piece, allowing your character to perform better than normal by adding a multiplier to said stats. It can increase or decrease your melee attack, same goes for defense, martial arts, and even the damage you deal when landing a strike. Medium armor is where you're gonna get a more mix of buffs with debuffs for all the aforementioned stats. Then with heavy armor, that's where you're pretty much trading protection for only debuffs to your stats. Though, here's one way to look at it. The more your stat is be debuffed, the easier it is to train and increase it. When you get higher up in the game, your training slows down a lot. So these debuffs in a way change for example, your level 30 attack stat to 20, making it easier to train. The lower the level, the easier to train. Another example would be training your strength. Fill up a trader's backpack to the brim with a super heavy object like iron ore. Wear a full getup of heavy armor, further encumbering you, and have a heavy weapon. Now run around. If you want to take it another step further, carry a teammate on your shoulder during this. Just make sure they're fed. I'm sure most of the other stats make sense considering what we went through with the weapon stats portion, but there are two that may be a bit more confusing. Coverage essentially decides the probability of helping negate attacks or lessen their damage. So if it's 50-50, there's a 50% chance it does something to help you, and there's a 50% chance it's just going to be direct damage. The armor stat cut efficiency and cut resistance kind of go hand in hand, or really they do. 
And that one, I am not embarrassed to say. It is out of my pay grade. No shame in admitting it. That's, that's out there for me. If you'd like to see a post better detailing it than I could, please check the description. I'll have a link for you down to the original Steam community page that kind of breaks all of this down. I think that about wraps it up. I don't think I forgot anything, but knowing my luck and my time crunch, I probably did. Needless to say, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful evening. God bless and goodbye.